Hi everyone, my name is Andre Marius and in this Envato Task Plus tutorial I will show you how to create a leather texture, how to save it as a pattern and how to easily apply it on text. Before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements. With a simple subscription, Envato Elements gives you unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets such as video templates, graphics, photos, fonts, and many more. You can subscribe right now with the link in the description. Let's open Photoshop and create a new document. Select pixels from this drop-down menu, set the width and the height to 860 pixels, and then create your new document. Before we start the work on the pattern, let's open the panels that will be used throughout this tutorial. Just go to window in the menu bar and open the channels panel, the layers panel and the properties panel. Focus on the layers panel to unlock this layer. Make sure that the foreground color is set to black and the background color is set to white. And then go to filter and filter gallery. From the texture section, select stained glass. Move these sliders to 9, 4 and 3. Click OK and return to the Layers panel to add a second layer. Let's swap the foreground color and the background color. You can do it using this tiny arrow button or using the X keyboard shortcut. Select the Paint Bucket tool from your toolbar and simply click inside your canvas to fill your new layer with white. Swap again the foreground color and the background color and go again to Filter and Filter Gallery. Again select the stained glass filter, use the same settings and click OK. Lower the opacity of the second layer to 50%. Hold down the control key to select the second layer along with the first one. Right click on one of these two layers and go to Merge Layers. And then go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Set the amount to 20%, make sure that the uniform and the monochromatic boxes are checked, and then click OK. Now press Ctrl and A to select your entire canvas, press Ctrl and C to copy the content from the selected layer, move to the channels panel and add a new channel, press Ctrl and V to paste the content from your layer inside this new channel, and then select the RGB channel. You can press Ctrl and D to get rid of the selection around your canvas and then go to Edit and Fill. Make sure that the blend mode is set to normal and the opacity to 100%. Select color from this drop down menu, set the color to 70, 70 and 70, click OK and again OK. Right click your layer inside the layers panel and go to convert to smart object and then go to filter, render and lighting effects. Let's rotate the spotlight and stretch it about like that and then focus on the right sidebar. Just move these sliders to 10, 50 0, 0, 69 and 8. Select alpha 1 from this drop down menu. Move the height slider to about 20. And then focus on the control panel to add a point light using this button. Lower the intensity to 10 and keep the rest of the settings as they are. Move this light around this point and then click again this button to add another point light. For this one set the intensity to 16, move it around this area and then add one more point light. Again lower the intensity to 10, move this new point light around this point Focus on the edge and scale it like that. And once you are done, you can click OK. 
get back to the layers panel to add a new layer swap again the foreground color and the background color select the gradient tool from your toolbar make sure that you have a gradient that goes from white to a transparent white click ok don't forget to set the gradient type to radial focus on your canvas and with simple click and drags add some random gradients to your design Once you are done, return to the Layers panel and just lower the opacity of this layer to about 3%. To easily change the color of your texture, just click this button from the Layers panel, go to Hue and Saturation. Let's make this panel a bit larger. Make sure that you check the Colorize box and then play with the sliders until you get the color that you may need. For this example, let's use 21, 27, and minus 6. And finally, you might have noticed that the lighting effects filter added this small border to the edge of your canvas. To remove it, go to image and canvas size and just reduce the size of your canvas with a few pixels. Lower the width and the height to 850 pixels. Click OK, proceed, and with this final touch, your leather texture is complete. Now that you have your texture, let's see how easy it can be to save it as a pattern. Right click on any of your layers from the layers panel, go to merge visible, and then go to edit and define pattern. Type in a name for your pattern. Click OK. And now you can apply your pattern on any type of shape or text. You can create your own styles or you can try this layer style from Envaro Elements and incorporate your leather pattern. Just double click the text to open the layer style panel, go to pattern overlay, select your pattern from the list and that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click that little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorial. If you are looking to learn even more, you can check out some of the other tutorials that Envato Task Plus has to offer. I'm Andrei Marius and I'll see you in the next video.